Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Susan Harden, who is the Executive Director for the Nelson County Chapter of the American Red Cross. The Nelson County Chapter services Nelson County, as well as Marion County and Washington County, right? Yes, Gary, we do. Great, and we're gonna talk about some of the events that are going on. Uh, we had an update with Susan a couple months ago. Got to see some of the stuff that's going on with the Red Cross, but there's always a lot of stuff happening. It's been a very busy time and there is a lot happening. You never can prepare for disaster, so we try to prepare year round. That's right. And you know, some people are familiar with the Red Cross with their blood drives. Some are familiar with the Red Cross for the disaster assistance that they do. But there's a whole lot of different aspects that the Red Cross is involved in, correct? That is absolutely correct. We are a nonprofit organization, so all of our dollars come from donations. We mm -hmm. utilize volunteers, so all of our services are delivered by volunteers. You mentioned blood services. A lot of folks are aware of either having received blood or are on a regular basis to donate blood, and that's a very vital part of our program. Um, disaster preparedness, um, small disasters like single family fires, and large disasters, the ice storm, a tornado, mm -hmm. severe weather, um, we like to be be prepared to respond uh, in those instances. Health and safety, uh, CPR, you can save a life using Red Cross skills um, okay. by CPR and first aid classes. That's great. Um, and then military service. Um, we also have service to the armed forces. Right. So if you have a family member deployed out of country and you have a family emergency, we step in and help with that casework and hopefully can get that family member home for you. Okay, wonderful. Well, as we said, it is a three county service area, this chapter, and there are is a board that works with them. And we want to mention some of the new board members that you have uh, that are from each of our three counties, correct? That is correct. It's a three county sir, uh, board, uh, totally volunteer and typical board members serve a three year term. Mm -hmm. um, we have grown out of the Nelson County chapter and recently expanded here in Marion County. So uh, most people in the county and the surrounding area are familiar with Jane Higdon and Jane has been a fireball. She has kicked off the um, Red Cross response and recruited I think 48 volunteers we had last Fantastic. year uh, join our movement uh, here in Marion County. And we're very pleased and excited for John G. Mattingly, the county judge executive. He's been behind us 100% and he stepped up to the plate and is gonna put his feet where, where the money happens and he's volunteering on our board now as a brand new board member. Fantastic. And also, as we say at Services Washington County, you have Lisa Hayden, who is on the city council over there, who is going to be a new board member as well, correct? Lisa knows the people. Lisa can bring the resources. She's got mm -hmm. a lot of energy. She's got an excellent background for Red Cross services. And we are just very thrilled with the caliber and level of volunteers that we've recruited this year. So we look forward to working with both John and Lisa. And in Nelson County, you have two new board members as well that are Nelson County natives or live there so you can tell us who they are as well. We do. Um, Gary Bishop um, recently relocated from the Fort Knox area and he mm -hmm. is a telecommunications um, individual who came from the Army um, uh, and he has brought um, our technology um, way up. Uh, we're learning to Twitter, uh, learning to text and have a Facebook account all because of Gary. Uh, and then we've reached out to another dynamic. We're a very diverse group and we've got an under 30 uh, business um, owner. So mm -hmm. uh, Carrie, Carrie and Parish Insurance, Patrick. Um, um, Carrie has joined our board um, this year also. So we're very pleased to have five new board members. Fantastic, fantastic. Now also here in Marion County, one local resident was the local volunteer Swims for Gold. Can you tell us a little about that that you had in your newsletter? Yes, um, Mary Ann um, came to Louisville actually to volunteer. She is very dedicated to uh, serving others and she applied in Louisville but was redirected to her home chapter and Mary Ann's been a volunteer with us a little over a year and she uh, recently graduated to the senior division of the Olympics and the Bluegrass State Games and she competed in swimming and go gold. Uh, Mary Ann wow. brought home three medals. That's fantastic. And that's uh, Marianne Oso, who is from Mid Lebanon, Marion County. Congratulations on taking home those awards. That's fantastic. Now, also, you're going to have a bike tour coming up. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I certainly can. The Old Kentucky Home Bike Association uh, is based out of Louisville, and they're doing a 100-mile um, ride. They will start in Louisville. They will ride to Bardstown. They actually pitch tents and spend the night on the hi our high school grounds in Bardstown, get on their bike Sunday morning, and ride back to Louisville. And the beneficiary of this Old Kentucky Home Bike Ride is the American Red Cross. Okay, great. So. When is that going to take place? 
the ride happens on September 8th, uh, 7th and 8th, um, mm -hmm. sorry, 8th and 9th. Um, okay. So they'll be in Bardstown on the lawn of Spalding Hall and camping at Bardstown High School. And we're selling raffle tickets. If anyone would like to make a donation to the American Red Cross, okay. you can buy a raffle ticket for a $1,500 aluminum bike. Okay, that's pretty cool. Really awesome. Very good, very good. Uh, and if somebody's interested in taking part in the ride, can they contact your office or how could they go about doing that? Um, Old Kentucky Home Bike Ride is on the internet. Um, so okay. the best way would be to Google the Old Kentucky Home Bike Ride or feel free, absolutely call me, send me an email, um, text, and uh, we'll get you connected to be able to ride. Okay. And again, that's a fundraiser for the American Red Cross, including the Nelson County chapter. So, and that's the way that you raise money is through fundraising efforts, correct? All the, all the money that serves our clients, that um, helps with fire victims, that um, helps with blood services and volunteer training. It's a year round process and it is based on donations. So we accept donations year round. Great. Now I want to talk a little bit about your disaster preparedness training because you have some issues going on with that coming up, right? We, we sure do. We had an excellent response last year. Um, we offered classes in Nelson County. Um, we were able uh, to offer five classes uh, last year. And this year, we are going to offer the classes here in Marion County. Um, okay. The county judge has stepped up and graciously offered his facility. So we'll be at the David R. Hurrigan Center. And mm -hmm. there'll be five um, sessions um, offering nine different classes. So if you're interested, if a disaster happens and you say, boy, I wish I could help, you have to be registered and you have to to be trained so now's the time to come and get your training now is there a fee for being part of this uh, the Red Cross uh, operates on donations and we train all our volunteers for free so Great. there is okay. no fee and we're all gonna we're gonna feed you also so okay hey and that's going to be when are, what are the dates, do you say? Um, we're offering, as I said, nine different classes um, the Tuesday and Thursday we're uh, um, Tuesday and Thursday Sep um, August 28th and 30th, and mm -hmm. then the second week in September, September uh, 11th and 13th, and then we're going to do um, four sessions on a Saturday. We'll do an all-day um, logistics class and an all-day sheltering class on Saturday, um, September the 15th. Okay, and if you are interested in taking part in that, you can contact Susan's office as well or you know, give her an email or something. But also, you can find out more about it because you're going to have a Red Cross volunteer picnic, correct? That is correct. We are looking for volunteers. Um, like I said, if you're motivated to help, if you don't think you have a skill to offer, you do. You can answer mm. the phone. You can take registration. You can cook. You can comfort children. You can read stories. Whatever your talent, whatever your skill, if you'd like to drive a truck, you can haul supplies. There so please um, come to our volunteer appreciation picnic. We're grateful and appreciate Sonia and Spencer Clark for hosting our picnic this year. Um, it will be on Sunday, August the 19th from 1 to 4. It is a family picnic. Um, it's potluck, so bring your covered dish. Um, Sonia and Spencer have a swimming pool. Um, we're looking at about 50 volunteers coming out and enjoying some fellowship and okay. build the team between the three counties and prepare for these disaster classes that are the week after the uh, volunteer picnic. Okay, great. And do they need to register in advance to take part or just show up? We would like a pre-registration, mm -hmm. yes. We have uh, donated meat. Um, Boone's Butcher Shop in Bardstown okay. has graciously um, agreed to donate the um, pork, the hamburgers, and the hot dogs for our barbecue. And we have some excellent cooks that are going to grill up some uh, picnic food for us. Uh, but we would like to have a head count um, before the picnic. So please give me a call. Can I share that number? Yes, absolutely. All right. The uh, office number in Bardstown there is 502 348 one eight nine three um, and my email address is pretty easy it's my name Susan with a dot in Hardin like Hardin County at redcross.org so send me an email give me a call let us know you're interested in volunteering you want to come out and uh, meet some other folks involved before training great and that's for the Nelson County chapter of the American Red Cross serving the three counties that Central Kentucky Television serves, Mary and Washington, Nelson counties. And for the volunteer picnic, or if you can't make that and you're still interested, you can also give a call or an email, and Susan would be happy to talk with you about that as well. Now, one thing before we close out, you had mentioned that there are CPR classes and some other classes that are offered occasionally. Are they on a structured basis, or if somebody's interested in setting one up, do they contact you? How's that work? 
Um, the organization has restructured a little bit and we do both. We offer community and professional classes on a regular basis. But if you have a business, if you have 10 friends, if you have a company and you want to get a certain percent of your employees certified, mm -hmm. we will come in and do that certification in your plant, okay. business or church. Um, uh, churches are another great resource for disaster recovery. There's emotional needs, there's you know all kinds of needs and a church group could get together and become a disaster team. So if we had um, you know, a local disaster, a church fellow family could get, get together and help um, respond to these needs. So that's another avenue. Okay. And one more time, that phone number in case I didn't write it down. Okay. The American Red Cross office is 502-348-1893. And please call Jane Higdon or Jim, uh, John Mattingly. Um, you probably, most folks are familiar with these two individuals and they'll be glad to direct you. Um, but please uh, call the Red Cross office, 502 348-1893. Great, thank you very much. Gary, thank you for yeah, having me. Sure, I've been talking with Susan Harden, who is the Executive Director for the Nelson County Chapter of the American Red Cross. This is Gary White for Central Kentucky Television.